This is my hardy board fence or my cement board fence. Uh, the product I'm using is hardy backer and this is a three by five sheet with and a half inch thick which does the job exactly what I wanted it to do. The hardy trim is the other product that I use. This is three quarter by four by 12 feet and I also use some three quarter by six as you can see on the uprights there. Started this fence project out like most fence projects and put the four by fours in the ground. Mine are 61 inches on center obviously because the boards are exactly five foot leaving me a half inch gap in between each one to allow for con for expansion during the heat and the cold the boards are all put on here with a nail gun this is a trim gun used all two inch all two inch trims you want to make sure you're using coated nails because you're going through cement in the woods and you don't want your nails to rust off and and your boards fall off your fence I nailed the hardy backer board directly to the 4x4 so you have a good surface that it's nailed to. It's very solid and perfect in place where it should be. The trim is then put on top of the hardy backer. We, As you can see it's on top, middle and the bottom. Obviously the gap is here in the, is in the middle. And on the back side of this fence also is a duplicate of this so that it sandwiches between the two boards and gives it rigidity so it doesn't wobble or move. The, I'm going to walk down the fence here so you can see where we are. It's all nailed in. Get farther down here you can see a little bit more of it complete and where we went from this. The 4x4 post was just the platform that we built this fence on because it is not strong enough to hold this fence. You can see that this fence wobbles, really wobbles with just a 4x4 in the ground. It's a lot of weight held up by those. And these, these 4x4s are 10 foot long, so they're, they're three foot in the ground. We get down here, you can see that we came on top on top of the or in front of this fence with a 4x6 and we nailed the 4x6 directly in front of the other post. Actually we we screwed those in. We used large timber anchors and screwed through the front of these and screwed them directly into the board in the back and straight all the way through. Those are 10 inch, those are 10 inch anchor or timber screws that are through there. And I used three of them. There's one, two, three, one on each level. And as you can see, the other thing that that board did is that all the nail holes that are showing here are all, and all the joints are now covered by the four by six. So it gives a, a, a nice appearance be, besides being structurally sound. The other thing that we did, obviously we capped it. You can see where I've run a piece of one before trim across the top. And then we came in and did some nice decorative work on the top of each one of these posts. And we did another little decorative piece across the middle, all cut out of the good hardy board. Uh, I've got a good finish coat on it. This is weather tight mobile paint, weather tight acrylic, 100% acrylic paint, which is what's necessary to paint this with. You also don't want to paint pressure treated lumber with enamel paint. And it takes 30 days for this pressure treated lumber to get to the point where you can paint it, which is why just the concrete is painted right now because we have tried to seal it and keep any moisture out of the concrete. But it looks really awesome. I mean, I can't, I can't wait to get it finished so that you can see the in total finished product. But it's 110 feet long. My cost on this project is about $18 a running linear foot. The only thing, the other thing I haven't mentioned is that uh, the 4x4 posts were put in with 40 pounds of concrete and then the 4x6 posts were put in right behind them after the post went up. I had to do a little digging to get that down there that deep, but those went in with 80 pounds of concrete. So there's 120 pounds of concrete holding this up, and the hardy board is sandwiched between a 1x4 and a 4x6, and all decorated, and this fence 
it does not move. 